Alrighty, folks. Hello and welcome back to the Valley Forge Sports Network. I'm Chris DeMarco, your host here at the VFSN. And today we have the first episode in a new series, including what's happening here at the Valley Forge Sports Network, what we have upcoming in our different leagues, some behind the look stuff at uh, what's going on. And I don't know what a behind the look stuff is. I don't know either, but we're going to have some behind the scenes <laughs> stuff. Also some sneak previews of stuff upcoming. I do have the general manager of the Milky Way Galaxy, the winner of the 2020 Fall Classic Championship, and of course, my co-host here at the network, Lefty McGovern. Now, Lefty, it's a big day here in the studio. We've got a lot of new stuff to talk about. How do you feel today? Well, um, I think we're uh, over here at the network. We're all riding pretty high on um, the potential that all this new stuff and, and new environment has to give. I think that with all the new equipment we have, with all the new ideas that we have, and mm. even some new people. Mm that uh you know you guys will be introduced to not too long from now and the you know the things <laughs> there's things we're riding high there's things we're, we're just riding we're, high. we're just riding high there may not be any more to it than that the first topic i want to get into today uh is wiffle ball of course but before we do i do kind of want to just apologize again for coming up short last season you know we set our sights really high I don't want to call it laziness, but just the the downtime. You, you might you might want to call the, it laziness. You might want to laziness call it that. might be the right word, but but whatever whatever these last couple of months have been. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna throw it back to you, man. and we're back. Uh, yeah, you know we've got so much. So let's just let's just dive in. First topic I want to jump into is where does the WWBL stand? I don't think we will ever have a full season like the WWBL, but I do think that we have a lot to be excited about. I'm really excited to bring back the SummerSlam this year. We're thinking late July, early August. So this year we're actually going to have the players go out and form their own teams. Five guys will probably be the limit. Once they have those five guys on their team, they can register for the tournament. We'll then work together on creating an idea for the team what do you think about you know giving giving the players more power and sort of letting them form their own teams how do you feel like that's going to affect the league dynamic that decision to you know open it up to anybody and everybody to go out and, and form their own teams i think that that's super exciting to watch and to be a part of because you know the galaxy just had it too easy and we're definitely <laughs> we're definitely looking to widen the talent pool and bring in the best people we could possibly find here in New Jersey or you know anywhere else. As long as you have one WWBL player on your team, you're good to go for the tournament. I think I think it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with the existing four teams. At the end of the day, it's really up to the players. Is there anything that jumps out at you when you think about players having the choice to kind of go where they please? I think that the original <laughs> WWBL players will gravitate towards their teams. I think that everybody was super close within the league. I know that for the Galaxy, we're definitely going to try to Bring the band back together, if you will, because I'm definitely not trying to hit against That's Mark really Brzezicki or Josh Rollins. Definitely so don't want to I be doing need that. them on my team just so that I continue to oh, look nice as good as I did. I kind of want to get a rumor started that... Uh, oh, God, here we go. What's in, what's in the rumor mill? That Goldfinch's GM, David Wang, stole the footage. The Goldfinches were a kind of a little bit of a shifty group. I, I'll, I'll, sh I'll give them a shout out. My brother, Stephen McGovern, as you all know, stats right here he was a little bit of a disappointment honestly <laughs> I, I, i'm just, i'm gonna cut you off right there i'm curious to see what happens with the gold finches i know steven i, I actually talked to him the other day he does want to be back in the yellow and black i know david's gonna want to play again do you think decandia marzulo will we see those guys again I think that Joe DeCandia is a key facet to that team because we knew coming in, he was going to be one of the best fielders in the league. We also knew that his contact numbers would be really high, but what, you know, he showed everybody that his power numbers were just as lethal. So I don't know. And that's, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Joe like DeCandia. That. I predicted Joe DeCandia would hit a certain amount of home runs before the all-star break. And he did. That leads me to my next topic. Great commentary in the WWBL. Great commentary. Funny moments. You're going to be seeing a ton of this guy. Let's check it out. Red Bull. The official drink of the WLBLL. W. I'm going to take a quick stint in the minors, actually. Um, something that hasn't been done in a while. I think I just need some retooling. It looks like you may still have some left over here. I heard last night you had some meatballs. <laughs> we are live here in the bottom of the seven, and here comes the pitch, and McGovern doesn't get it. Let me know if the commentary bothers you as the 1-1 one -one comes in. <laughs> <laughs> 
Smacks one deep, it's gone! A two-run shot from McGovern! If I face you three, four, five times throughout the day, I'm gonna figure it, figure you out after after a couple at bat. So looking forward to learning from the vets. Wow, I'm kind of nervous doing the interview as well here. Oh, JD oh, absolutely oh, devours oh, one. Oh, that is smack. Oh, JD's got some ripping calves. Anyone ever noticed that? Here you go, JD. Yes, God, get to read on those. Get to read on those. Time. <laughs> I'm gonna leave Matt Bizarro here with you, Matt. If you want to commentate for the fans? Backyard baseball signature play. This is gonna be a hell of a job needed by the editor of this video because <laughs> this is absolute garbage. <laughs> All right, so good to take a look at some of that commentary. I can't wait to do more of it in the future. There were so many funny guys in the league. A lot of us obviously grew up together. We all grew up together. I think I, 20 I of the 20. 20 of the 25 or 24 players were all Whippany Park High School. We graduates. had 25 players. Or did we have 20? What was it? Four teams of five. So we had 20 people. So 16 of the 20 people were Whippany Park graduates. Let's talk rules about pitching. Mark Przicki was so dominant. He was basically unhittable pretty much all season. Is there anything specific you feel like needs to happen? What do we need to do about the game itself, if anything? Yeah, I think that now that we're going to be playing in a more official setting, if you will, maybe you might see us stepping out of the backyard just to you know accommodate the size of the events that we're planning on having. And that's going to give us a lot more wiggle room as far as the dimensions of the field one thing that could potentially have involving pitching is to move potentially move the mound slightly back now i think that that will create a more hitter friendly game obviously that benefits me the speed limit's obviously a sensitive topic what do you think about a smaller strike zone yeah i think that if you look at the other leagues around um, the internet we definitely had one of the bigger strike zones if not the biggest i think we were also like five six feet further away than most i think if we did shrink the strike zone we wouldn't have to shrink the speed limit. Pitchers would be forced to be more controlled. Excuse me. Thank you, Lefty, for turning me on to the stuff, by the way. It's water in a can. It's extremely expensive, and there's literally nothing more to it. I want to jump into the next sport we're really excited to bring to you guys, disc golf. We've been obsessed with the game for a long time. And Lefty, you're kind of you're kind of new to the sport. I mean, you've been playing for a month or two. It's growing like crazy. What's something that you you like about the sport of disc golf that you think a lot of the wiffle ball fans could relate to? It's just, it's such a smooth transition for all of us. I think that the familiar faces that you guys are used to, if they aren't into disc golf already, they'd be more than willing to watch. It really is just a great community to be around. It. Yeah, we've actually been filming some disc golf content over the last few weeks. We have a doubles video, so it's a little 2v2 matchup. I'm in it, David Wang's in it. We've got Josh Rollins is in it as well. We actually filmed a singles video in the backyard at Ford Yard. My brother Scott has moved into Ford Yard. The wiffle ball stadium is gone. He built a disc golf course back there, so we filmed around there as well. Disc golf's gonna be really fun. I'm, I'm excited to talk about some of the other random games that we have coming to the Valley Ford Sports Network this year. We Bowling, that's a game I've talked a lot about wanting to film. I think it'd be so funny if we, we organized a We Bowling tournament. Yeah, I think that we have a good mix of fans that, um, you know, enjoy our friend group while also seeing us, uh, you know, compete. And, um, yeah, <laughs> they've been, uh, Chris has been organizing tournaments, not just, you know, physical sports and, and things like that, but video game tournaments and and everything like that so we have no shortage of ideas yeah it ha we have been doing this for a while i think one thing we never got into that i'd love to talk about someday is some of the other leagues we created before the wwbl i know the flbbl frontlawn basketball league was a big one bull league was a big one how do you describe bull whenever i try to describe bull to someone i just say um it is played on a pool table and you don't need sticks, and you throw the balls around. Yeah, you basically <laughs> throw pool balls at each other, and you try to <laughs> Not put at all each the, other, but you, at the yeah, other balls. on the table. You try to bring all the balls onto your side, and once you do, you've won the game. Uh, other games we've created, like Setup. Setup is essentially 2v2 ping pong. It's played a little bit like volleyball. You need like a tight basement, though, because the ball bounces off the walls. It's all in play. My hope is that people would enjoy watching that. I just want to switch gears a tiny bit, and... Um, 
talk a little bit about what this this show that you're watching right now is going to turn into a new style update show where you're going to hear what's going on and you know all the different events that are uh that we have planned upcoming stuff reports on stuff that we did and i know me personally i would love to have guests whether it would be a david wang or a lewis petrella and just you know use this channel to uh to reach as many people as we can and get people playing these weird games and Yo, shout out Tiki Park. Yeah, that's where I was Shout getting. out Tiki Park. I know they're, they they really only hit us on Instagram. I don't know if they watch our YouTube videos, but shout out Tiki Park Wiffle Ball. Go check them out. Yeah, they, uh, they just started uploading on YouTube and TikTok as well. All right, folks. So that's all we've got for this episode of the Valley Ford Sports Network. Lefty, you have a word for the fans? Uh, yeah, make sure you go follow the new Instagram account, Valley Forge. Sports. Valley Forge on Sports. Instagram. It's a dry account right now, and um, it'll be populated soon enough. Yeah, we haven't gotten anything up there yet, but uh, we will do that soon. Look out for the disc golf video coming later this week, and we'll see you next time.